I'm Insomniac and this is the Rec P51. First of all, big shout out to Rosemary for this piece. Rosemary Designs NJ on Instagram, rosemarydesignsnj.com. I had my eye on this watch since it came out, so it was a hell of a surprise this year to actually get one. Before we get into the typical sections here, let me explain why this is such a significant watch. If you're a fan of the Ford Mustang, which I personally am, I've owned five of them, including this one here, which is my newest one, uh, then this is a really, really important watch. This watch doesn't just use style cues from a vintage Mustang, which we'll get into later in the review. Part of this watch literally is a vintage Mustang. The main dial of this watch is made using sheet metal from a 1966 Mustang, and not just any Mustang where like, well, what Mustang was it? There's literally a VIN plaque on here, and you also have the VIN number on the back of the watch that tells you the exact 1966 Mustang that they used sheet metal from to make the dial of this watch. So on top of all the cool things I'm going to show you in this review, keep in mind that when you're wearing one of these, part of what you're wearing is literally a 1966 Mustang, and that is super cool. Before we jump into this review, make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell. I have a lot of new watch reviews coming up for you soon that I don't want you to miss. And that's about it. Let's get into the watch. The case on the P51 is rather large at 44 millimeters in diameter, but because of the short lug length, the watch overall isn't too mammoth on the wrist. The materials here are black PVD and polished stainless steel. And while most of the Mustang inspired design cues are found on the dial, there is a subtle design element on part of the case that ties in with the 66 Mustang this watch is modeled after. Look here at the side of the case and you'll notice that this embossed area is roughly the same shape as the old Mustang grille, including the outlined center plate, which here has the rec brand name, but on the car would hold the running pony logo. That's very cool. The case shape overall is pretty sharp with this scooped pocket kind of design that looks like the watch dial is inserted in the way that maybe a gauge cluster would be inserted into a dashboard. The scoop sides show off a bit more of the sides of the solid thin bezel that runs around the slightly raised crystal. Case back is really fun on this watch. First of all, the overall design, rather than a solid case back or your standard round exhibition style window, you have this wide exhibition window that actually shares a similar shape with the 66 Mustang Coupe's rear window. Through the rear window, you can see the Miyota movement in action, which thankfully Rec decorated with a rotor that looks like a partial car rim, which is nice, and the Rec logo over here above the movement. One of my favorite things about the case back, though, is that in addition to the general information about the watch found on the bottom side of the glass, on the top side, you have the exact watch model, then they specifically tell you how many watches were made using the sheet metal from this specific Mustang, which they share the VIN number for here. In this case, only 125 of these were made using sheet metal from this particular car, and that is really cool. Last but not least, we have the screw down crown, which is set a little bit lower than you might expect along the side of the case because the movement in this watch isn't mounted in the center of the dial, but a bit lower. The crown is just large enough to have the right presence with this case. It has the rec logo on the face and has good grip for winding and setting the watch. Overall, it's a very unique case with great details from every angle. The dial on the P51 is obviously the main attraction, and Rec really put some incredible thought and detail into this dial. Let's start with the pinnacle of the main attraction, which is the silver base of the dial around the gauge style subdials. As I mentioned earlier, this lightly coated but unfinished steel you're looking at here is sheet metal from a 1966 Ford Mustang. In the upper right hand side you have a thin applied plaque with the Rec brand name on it, but in the upper left hand side you have one of the coolest things you'll ever see on a watch dial. A plaque that they applied in such a way that it almost appears riveted on either side to the sheet metal with Mustang 1966 on top and the VIN number to the actual Mustang that was used to make this dial below that. A literal display right there on the dial authenticating the history of the sheet metal on display here which for an automotive enthusiast like myself is just amazing. Moving on to the subdials again great details here. Both subdials have these large border rings around them which again gives the impression of gauges that are installed into a larger surface. 
On top you have a power reserve meter which is made to look like an old fuel gauge and I have to admit it's the one detail they got wrong probably because of the way the internal mechanism works with this particular movement uh, but it still drives me a little bit crazy. The full should actually be on the right side and empty should be on the left but no big deal it still looks great and I get what they were going for. The larger sub dial is your time and date readout and we have more awesome details here starting with the base of the sub dial you have three tiers here. The minute track is on a slightly elevated ring, while the numerals for the minutes are on the same level as the very center section of the dial, while a deep recessed ring separates the center of that dial from the section with the numerals. And the numerals for the minutes are done in a very similar tall and thin font as the actual numerals on the speedometer of a 66 Mustang. Under the speedometer style clock you have a date window, black numerals on a white disc which ordinarily I'd say don't work with the rest of the watch but in this case it's actually another awesome automotive reference which isn't necessarily period correct for the 66 Mustang specifically but it is period correct for cars of that era because oftentimes you'd have a gear selector display on the dash that looked like this. So again aesthetically a great choice given the inspiration here. Last but not least you have the hands which are simple but again correct for the period this car was from and the car itself. The power reserve hand and the minute hand on the clock are both shaped like and the same color as the needles and the gauges on the 66 Mustang. The hour hand is a broad white triangle which I actually really like because based on the fact that the time readout is fairly small on this watch it helps you quickly differentiate between the hour and minute hands. Meanwhile the second hand is a gray stick style hand with a matching orange tip and all of the hands on this watch are perfect lengths for the respective dials. Overall this is a beautiful and massively unique dial. You have two usable complications on the P51. The date window down at the bottom of the watch and the power reserve up at the top. The date here is done in a wide date window format. The numerals are large and easy to read against the white backdrop. And in place of the numeral at the six o'clock position on the clock, you have an orange arrow pointing down to the numeral that indicates today's date. So it works well and it's easy to find the date at a quick glance. Power reserve is useful. Honestly, it's a feature that I wish all mechanical watches had. You can easily see how much wind you have left in the watch and it visually aids the winding process so you don't overwind the watch. So you have two useful complications here that both work well. Time at a glance on this watch is surprisingly good and I say surprisingly good because the diameter of the watch is 44 millimeters but the diameter of the subdial showing the time is only 18 millimeters. Yet because of the clean and simple layout of this dial, as well as the great legibility of the orange and white against the black backdrop mixed with the clean and pointy hands, I find it very easy to find the exact time in this watch at a quick glance. The strap on this watch is pretty good, but Rec actually missed a huge opportunity here to add another really cool element from the 66 Mustang to this watch. And here's the sad part, Rec actually makes the strap that I believe should have been on this watch for one of their other watches. One of the Porsche watches has a black leather strap with this padded ribbed pattern on it, which is very reminiscent of the seats in the 66 Mustang. That is the strap that should have been on this watch. But forgetting the fact that they make a perfect strap for this watch that they just didn't put on here, the strap that came with this watch is pretty nice. It's a fairly plain looking but well made tapered black leather strap with matching black stitching. The buckle is done in a matching black PVD with the REC logo on it and they shaped it to work well stylistically with the shape of the case. The strap also has quick releases so you don't need to use a spring bar tool to change it out. Uh, the strap looks fairly good with the watch overall and I find it to be very comfortable on the wrist so again despite the fact that they missed an opportunity here to make the strap great on this watch, it's a nice strap. Last but not least, we have value. As of the time of this video, available versions of the P51 on Rec's website are available for $1,495. And here's where we have to separate the two types of people watching this video. The Mustang enthusiasts and everyone else. Because if you're in the everyone else category and you're not a Mustang enthusiast, it's a fairly cool looking watch, but it has a pretty cheap Miyota movement in it. 
And yeah, okay, it looks pretty cool. It's definitely unique, even if you're not a Mustang enthusiast. That's a, uh, you know, pretty unique thing to have. But $1,500 for what it is in terms of materials and specs is insanely expensive. But if you're a true Mustang enthusiast or automotive enthusiast, I actually think this is worth every penny because this is one of those pieces that is not just about the specs. You're literally wearing a piece of automotive history when you're wearing one of these. You see watch dials all the time done in a cool texture or enamel or even precious metals like gold or platinum. And those are rare to a degree, but how often do you see a watch made with sheet metal from a 56 year old Mustang. The main dial surface of this watch is literally over a half a century old already. And the fact that the VIN number to the actual car is right here on the dial of the watch and on the back so you can trace it to the actual car that that sheet metal is from. And the fact that in the case of this specific watch, only 125 of these were ever made. If you're a Mustang lover, that's way cooler and way more unique than a watch dial done in precious metals. So it was almost $1,500 steep for a watch with a Miyota movement in it, definitely. But is almost $1,500 a reasonable price for a watch made with a 56 year old piece of automotive history? Also definitely. And because this watch isn't geared towards the general public, it is made for the Mustang enthusiast. In my opinion, it's a very good value at that price. So again, a huge shout out and big thank you to Rosemary because this was one hell of a gift. Very cool. Hit the thumbs up just to show Rosemary some love. Uh, definitely leave comments down below if you have one of these, or even if you don't, uh, leave comments down below to let me know what you think of this watch. Mustang lovers, hit the thumbs up as well. And that's it. Again, make sure that you're subscribed. I have a couple of really cool watches on their way in from one of the viewers here, which by the way, I forgot to mention earlier, if you have any watches you want to see reviewed here on the channel, email me at shouldITimethis at gmail.com. I will let you know where to send the watches. They'll be reviewed in short and sent back. And that's it. Stay tuned for those. See you all next time.